take a, a cheese chip and turn it into a, a taco type shape and then fill it with guacamole mm -hmm. and you have hors d'oeuvres how about that Hey, today we're going to make a, what we call a legal snack. In other words, there's no sugar, no grains in it, and it's, it's really pretty good, and it's simple. You want to get some uh, provolone. This is a mozzarella and provolone mix. We're going to put some bacon bits on it. Uh, we got some seasonings from BC Truck when we won his drawing. These are Keep It Simple Gourmet Mixes. Southwest Ranch, Applewood smoked bacon, garlic and onion. Um, hadn't tasted these yet, this will be the first time. And then we're going to top these off with crushed pork cracklings. So we got some pork cracklings in a Ziploc bag. We're going to break them down like this with our rolling pin. With our rolling pin. Nothing has one use around here. All right, we're going to put them on a baking pan covered in parchment paper, stick them in the oven for a few minutes. I think it's like 10 to 12 minutes at uh, 350 degrees. So let's build it. No. All right, we've got the oven preheating at 350. We're going to put in two tablespoons of cheese whatever cheese you want any cheese okay. I'm not gonna say any cheese but cheddar would work the Tex-Mex stuff would work pepper jack. pepper jack would work we just you know what we have. We, we've tried various different cheeses so whatever you want so but the, the roughly a, a good you know pinch of cheese is about two tablespoons and that's what works it's gonna flatten out a little bit just to mix it up a little bit we've got some Colby Monterey Jack cheese. We'll put it on a couple of these. The ones that get the extra cheese will also get pepper flakes. Now Chef Tammy will put some pepper flakes on. If you don't like spicy, then you can omit this. You can omit or add whatever you want. Yeah, it's a good thing about it. Okay. Bacon bits. You can make your own bacon or you can buy them already in a bag. We found that it's just not worthwhile making your own bacon. Only because it's 90 degrees outside. It's hot. You can buy this stuff already. It's real bacon. It's not the fake stuff. It's real bacon because it says so on the bag. Mm, real bacon. Yeah, I can't see that, baby. Okay. You got to put it over here where they can see it. Ah, you don't have to like powder them or anything, but you don't want a pork crackling. It's going to be so big and so hard that it's going to break your teeth when you eat your cheese chips. <laughs> Crushed. Crushed cracklings on there. And the Keep It Simple Gourmet Mixes seasonings that I won off of BC Trucks channel. Southwest Ranch dip mix, garlic and onion dip mix, and applewood smoked bacon dip mix and these are all available at keep it simple gourmet mixes .com. this stuff's made right here in Shungaloo Louisiana about probably about an hour from here really all right once you got everything put on there uh, goes in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees and we'll show you the finished product here in a minute or 10. So uh, in this oven, an RV, of course, it's a gas oven. It cooked a little bit differently. These were 10 minutes at 350. Probably should have gone nine minutes, I'm guessing. But um, what you can do, you can either let them sit like this and get you know firm, or you can roll them up. We've done that before. You can stick a toothpick in it, and they will harden you know, or firm up sure. in, a, in a roll shape. Um, you can leave them like this are yes, perfectly too. fine. What we're thinking about doing is leaving these like uh, they are and making some guacamole to dip them in like you would a chip. So 
cheese chips. Until the next video, which will be making guacamole for these. We'll see you later. And then the stove it goes. <laughs>